she's always had this personality that just draws people and you can't help but get to know her and love her. Every time I see her, she's just always happy, like screaming, no matter what the scoreboard is. She just always finds a reason to be happy. Every day she, she brings great energy, you know, no matter what's going on in the world. You know, I come out there and I go to pregame too and, and there's a smile on her face. So, you know, it shows you the, the true meaning of life. Jenna Warren loves the Phoenix Suns, taking Zumba classes, her parents, her dog Teddy, Teddy. and Phoenix Suns star Devin Booker. She has Down syndrome, but those who know her best will tell you her infectious personality, contagious smile, and killer dance moves outshine her limitations. She's always had quite the personality in the hospital. They had on her incubator genitude because they're like, she has got such an attitude. <laughs> 19 years later, Genitude One is her Instagram handle. She has over 10,000 followers. Her bio, it's simple and accurate. I love my sons and Devin's my friend. I love to ask him questions. She loved it right away. Like she was really enthralled with it. So we knew basketball was gonna be her thing. What her family didn't know was gonna be her thing? A friendship now three years strong with the NBA superstar. Before every home game, Devin comes out of the tunnel right behind me onto the court to get some warm-up shots up. Then he comes to meet Jenna right here in this corner where she's always ready with a question for him. Who do you have for Super Bowl? I'm going LA, I'm going with the Rams. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think's gonna win? Fifth. Okay. She has a problem with questions. And so we're always working on questions. So she has to like think of a question, we help her formulate it, and then she has to ask them. I can always use Devin to get her motivated. But Jenna's favorite moment with Devin, that's easy. Days in New York. Devin took Jenna and her family to the Big Apple for the NBA draft lottery in 2016. The two went to the NBA store, ate at Devin's favorite restaurant, Carmine's, and then got some shots up in Central Park. But her favorite part of that trip the traffic. I love the traffic with them because we'd be sitting in the SUV, you know, and we, we could be talking and goofing off with them. And, you know, she was just like with Devin, just right there with him. Traffic. Most people would say that's their least favorite part about any city. But I guess when you're Jenna and you're stuck in traffic with Devin Booker, it's not so bad. And what Jenna loves most about him, it hasn't changed since they first oh met. This is Devin. I'm happy. If he was right here, what would you say to him? I love him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love you. Jenna treats everyone the same, from superstars like Devin to her Zumba instructor and everyone in between. Jenna considers everyone she meets a friend. She's loving, energetic, and joyful. There's so many emotions that she brings, and you know, it's always cheerful and happy for sure. She's amazing. She's beautiful. And love. A lot of love. Jenna reminds us that sometimes a smile or a hug or even a little dance can make all the difference. And there's no doubt that wherever Jenna is, smiles and dancing are bound to follow. In Phoenix, Bailey O'Carroll, Cronkite Sports Report.